So, happy Christmas, Feliz Navidad, Joyeux Noel, Nolik Honigwich, and Christmas Kosuva Kamana. So those are the five languages that I'm learning or know, and it just says Merry Christmas, and I hope you enjoy the vlog. Here's Green Acres. Here's a great shop, Natural House Store. They have nice decorations in the window. And then Westgate Design. Here's your man with his dogs. All dressed up for Christmas. And there it is, it's set up. Now they have sort of a whole theme this year now with uh, Mrs. Claus, Santa Claus, and I think there's a little film that the kids see. So Good day everyone. It's uh, the 2nd of December and today I have my uh, my company Christmas party so I'm going to be walking down towards the town for that. That's why I'm all dressed up. But uh, before that, what I want to do is show you what happens when you walk through on the evening in Wexford Town where they have the lights are lit up, uh, the crack that's going around and we'll walk along the quay and I'll show you where the Santa's Grotto is. Uh, and on top of that with the grotto, there's also the ice rink this year back If you remember why and I was doing the Spiegel tent They were saying that it wasn't available, but finally they got an approval and uh, found insurance for it So it's back in full uh, glory this year. So what I'm gonna do is to kill some time We're gonna walk through the town show you the lights That it's lit up by the time I get downtown. It'll be dark and you can see the beautiful and magical lights in Wexford Town. Okay, so I arrived at uh, Dunn's stores by Redmond Square. Here's the start of uh, the decoration. So you see the trees and the Christmas tree all lit up. Now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna walk along the main street to the southern part of the main street. Then I'll cross over on the quay and walk our way backwards. And I'll show you what kind of decorations they have at Christmas time in Wexford Town. Okay, as you can see, the start of the main street, the North Main Street, you have the uh, Merry Christmas signs, and then you look down the street, there's, it's getting dark, and the uh, lights are starting to come out. So I'm just going to keep it on. We'll show you all the little stores that are decorated as well to bring the atmosphere in Wexford Town while you come and visit during the month of December and early January as well. So you see the lights and they decorate along the town and we get closer to the bull ring and into the main key. So here we have up until Selsker Street, uh, Selsker Avenue. Here's my Select Asia shop. Prime Pizza and Kebabs. My buddy Ahmed owns that. Ahmed came over from Afghanistan. I knew him from the time when I worked in uh, Wexford Cabs. He was a cab driver when I was in the base. Here's Green Acres. It's all decorated there. And then there's some more lights on the town on the top. <laughs> Town is bustling for being like um, five o'clock at night on a Friday, whereas normally during the summer times and that they'd be pretty quiet and dead. But as you see, the shops are still open. People are coming in and out trying to get sh shopping done. Here's Monk Street. Here's where all the pubs are and a couple of restaurants. There's an antiques collectible store. Ray's. Here's the Vine restaurant. Uh, my buddy uh, Dave Cavanaugh owns that. Been going on since 2001. Excellent food and they have a great takeaway as well up on White Mill Road in the Cunard area in Wexford Town. Here's my chemist, Fortune's Pharmacy. Since 1947. Now I am going to have to stop at an ATM and take some money out so I can have money for later on just in case. Although the meal is covered by the company. And there's other parts of the town and still the decorations. 
This part looks nice here. And uh, you can see the lights going up right up into the bull ring. For those of you who didn't see my uh, bull ring one, it's on the Wexford Town vlog. I explain exactly what the uh, bull ring, the origins of it. Pretty gruesome. So remember, to, uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel, please. I'm trying to grow it up. It's been going on for a little over three months now. And, uh, you know, if you have any comments or places you want me to see and show you, just please comment and don't forget to hit the like button and also the bell to be notified of any upcoming videos. My next vlog, don't know if I'm gonna have time with work and also Christmas coming up. I wanna go to uh, Tintern Abbey or The Hook, but I will be going to Belfast just after Christmas, planning to head up there Stephen's Day, which is Boxing Day to some. So Stephen's Day for about three dates. I gotta take in a maybe a hockey game and a couple of tours and stuff and show you what happens in Belfast. It's been a few years since I've been there. We used to go up every time we had a chance because it's a lovely city and it's a value, it's value uh, for your money too. Even though the exchange rate's a little bit in favor of the British pound. Okay, and then see, you can see the light really show the decoration coming up into here. Really nice. Goes all the way down the main street. You see, really still crowded considering the time of evening. Still lots of shops open. People are walking around collecting those Christmas gifts. And there's the lights again. Westgate Designs coming up there. See the lights on the outside that really decorates it well. There's a great shop, Natural House Store. They have nice decorations in the window. And then Westgate Design. How's it going? See, the shops are still in bloom. A lot of people around in this time of evening. It's great to see. It's great for the town. And then we'll walk down to the quay, and then I'll show you what they have on the quay. Now, the ice rink, the official opening is tomorrow. Tomorrow they start with the ice rink. So if you want to find out about the ice rink, if you're heading into Wexford, during this, the, uh, this holiday period, just look at lantern.ie and then check up their uh, web page. There's the Ant Street, that's the middle part of the, the divides of town. You can see there's a tree down there. We're gonna walk up to it once we get down. A little bit more south on the tree, on the street. We're gonna cut down and then come back. And then I'll walk across the bridge, which you have all the lights on it as well. There's the book center. Very well done. There's good crack. There's a man with his dogs. All dressed up for Christmas. So you can see lots of stores, a couple of restaurants. Everything's all decorated for Christmas in Wexford. Remember we just had the opera festival just a little while ago with the Spiegel tent and then we hit into the uh, Christmas season. So there's always something happening in Wexford. There's pennies. If for the rest of Europe and as Primark. down. This is Henrietta Street. Here's uh, Simon Lambert's. Put this car by. 
there's the Commodore Barry statue at the end of the street. The Simon Lamberts and that. They also own the uh, Yellow Belly beers. They're a special uh, microbrewery that they have. Their own uh, canned uh, pale ales and stuff like that. It's very, very popular. And it has all Wexford designs on the front and that's really good. And they employ a lot of people. And that's located up in the uh, top of White Rock Hill in Wexford Town, just outside. So we'll go up to uh, just where those other lights are. Oops. And then we'll cut down to the left. And then we'll see what the key looks like. And then the bridge. And that'll take us up to my Christmas party. I won't be logging that. But you can always comment and ask me how it went. <laughs> but I won't be too mad because tomorrow I'm doing some collecting for the local Lions Club um, at Dunn stores at uh, 9.30 in the morning to 11.30. So we're doing it all day today, Friday and Saturday. Um, and all the food gets collected too. We distribute it amongst different charities. Hi John. Hi John. Yeah, so we're coming to the end of the town. Here's my barbers that I go to. And then we'll cut to the left. And then we'll head down onto the key. So that's basically the town. This is where you can see the uh, it ends just up there where the stop, uh, stop sign is. This is the Buker Doyles and there's the Premier Fish and Chip Shop. So what we'll do is we'll just go, there's an alleyway just up here to the left. We'll cut down the alleyway. There'll be no lights there. And then we'll just get onto the key. And from the key we'll see what it looks like. It won't be much longer. And then we'll be on the key. And then I'll should take you across the bridge. I'm just going to stop it now because I have to go to the ATM and get some money first. So I just popped into the uh, carry out by Bugler Doyles. There, uh, it's an off license and they have an ATM in there. So I grabbed the money from there, popped up my reserves for the evening and then took the, um, there's a little alleyway between Bugler's and it heads up to the key. It opens up to uh, TK Maxx is on the right here. And there's car parks on the left. So we're just gonna walk up to the key. We'll be there in a second. And then, We'll turn to the left and walk along the key back to the to the bridge, Wexford Bridge, and we'll see where they have the uh, Santa's Grotto and the um, the ice rink and what else they really have to offer, and see how the bridge is lit up and if it is usually is. So here we go. It's a very dark evening, but the weather is really grand. It's actually not too bad. off to the hospital there. Hopefully they're okay. There. So you see a few trees that are along the key. They're all decorated. Now there's a zebra walk here so we're going to cross over here. And then you can see up ahead and back of the bridge. Thank you. Okay, there you go. So Here's the, uh, the Crescent Key. There's not too many lights there, but there's the Commodore Barry at the bottom of Henrietta Street. And then here's the tourist office. Unfortunately, it closes before the Opera Festival is even then. And it doesn't open until, uh, I think, April, which is a shame. They've got to do something about that because we do have a tourist throughout the year. And then you can see that, I don't know if the GoPro picks it up really good, but you have the bridge, it's uh, decorated in red and white lights for the whole span. And up ahead we have some trees with a Christmas tree and a red star on top. The trees are multicolored. Gives it a nice look, not just one color like some of them we've seen so far. And as we're getting closer towards the ice rink and the, uh, the grotto is. And then over across the bridge, right over there, you can see it there, that's the river bank, that's where I'll be going for my Christmas party. It's 
it's nice to get with colleagues especially now that we're you know hybrid working and we're working from home most of the time and the off times at the office you don't get to see everyone so it'd be nice to catch up with people that you don't normally see well, that weight's good on the uh, so, uh, right on the water waterfront there see the shimmering in the in the water and there's all the muscle boats parked up onto the right hand side right on the key And there's the lights shining right in front of us. And there's the bottom of Van Street right there. Like it's not much farther. I think we have another 200 meters to the end of the key, maybe 300. But it adds some ambiance in the town for the time of year. You know, hopefully the weather is dry. Don't mind if it's a little cold. Just hope it stays dry. We had a terrible amount of rain in the last, say, month to six weeks. It was an awful amount of rain fell. And there's Southeast Radio, the one with the Wexford flags on it. That's the uh, the local. Um, radio station. It has one of the strongest viewerships and or listenerships in all of Ireland. And there's some more muscle boats on the quay. You can see them. There's quite a bit of them, and some of them are two or three breast on the side. People walking their dogs, and you can see there's uh, there's uh, bags every once in a while with bins just there, so there's no excuse not to pick up your uh, your dog's fowl. There's some handy apartments so overlooking the key. They're a little higher in the price range, but for the view, there's a pantry there, so you can get a quick coffee when you're walking with the kids or the dog, the girlfriend or boyfriend. Our partner and then see up ahead this is where similar in the same position as where they had the, uh, the Spiegel tent for those of you that watch the Spiegel tent if not I'm gonna leave a link below um, but there's the entrance for the uh, the Santa's uh, North Pole where Santa comes down to sees all the little boys and girls comes all the way from the North Pole for that And there it is, it's set up. Now they have sort of a whole theme this year now with uh, Mrs. Claus, Santa Claus, and I think there's a little film that the kids see. So it's really done well. Uh, Lantern, uh, Lantern uh, Presents does a great job. See if you look at it, it's really nice. Yeah, nearly there. <laughs> see, you got this. So they come in here and they can take photos and that. Inside you go see Mrs. Claus and then Mr. Claus is right there. So if you want to see more information, I'll have the links below for um, the Winterland or Wexford Winter Events or whatever, Winter Bushes. I'll have that listed below so you can see um, how to uh, register your kids and what the costs are. And then on the other side here, you have the, uh, the ice rink. Now the ice rink officially opens tomorrow. Let's we'll see if we get a sneaky peek in to look what it looks like. So here they're just setting it up. Let me just see if I can turn it off for a minute. Okay, so Brian was busy getting it all set up. They're gonna be opening tomorrow, so they're doing the finishing touches. Um, he said it was touch and go for a while to get the um, the, the insurance was the, the thing that fell down. So here they're, the ice rink is getting set up. You can see the water. They have the big generators that uh, keeps it float. So what is underneath, there's these coils of coolant. 
and it cools the ice and it keeps it there. So the generators go pretty much non-stop. So it is expensive with the diesel and that, but you know, it has to be done. So there's the ice rink. I'm gonna go around the air side, see if we can see a little bit more. Um, like I said, it's not opened yet till tomorrow, but it is basically, it's an ice rink. It has, uh, has little things for the kids, the ones that, the little uh, penguins or something to hold on to. And there's the ice rink, getting prepared. And there's like the generators. So these are what keeps it cool. And then this will be all with music and uh, lights for the whole town to come. So like I said, take a look at the website and see how much it costs for a session. They, they're usually 50 minutes. That gives you five minutes to get on the ice, five minutes to get off, change the skates and all that. And then here's some more lights around where the Christmas tree is. And then there's White's Hotel and this is where the stores are. And then that's the street, uh, Monk Street, where you see uh, the end there with the bars. And that goes up to the main street again, which we were just at. And then now we're gonna walk across this road. We're gonna take a walk on the bridge and I'm gonna enjoy my party. So thanks for uh, watching. Be sure to uh, like and subscribe to my channel because it helps with the algorithms. I'm trying to build my channel for when I go to Belfast and then eventually to Nepal, which is my next big, big event, which will be happening in September. So please read comments in below. Um, let me know if you want to see anything and thanks. Here's walking over the quay on the bridge, Wexford Bridge, over towards the riverbank. You can see the cars coming in, the lights shining, buses moving around. And then here's the key front. I don't know if the GoPro picks it up with the, uh, the darkness, but so here are some lights. We have the uh, ice rink there, and then over in the distance, Santa's Grotto. So you see that, then all the boats. So it's a nice little walk, very calm night, very dark towards the water. And there's our cabin. Last time I walked down this bridge, I was heading towards Kirklow. You can watch me on the uh, Kirklow vlog. It'll be in the links at the end of the video, if you haven't seen that one yet. So. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. I'll be heading to my Christmas party and comment if you want to see how the party went.